to you. Really don't care how he's been to you. He's been good to Terry. Could have been in hell, but I'm, I don't have to go there. Could have been dead, and could have had AIDS. Don't. It was the best thing. See, some of y'all still looking for something. Some of y'all still looking for something better. You can't find nothing better. It ain't nothing better. Money ain't better. A car ain't better. A house ain't better. Your boo ain't better. And his name is Jealous. And when you put anything before him, he ain't studying you. And if you put anything before him too, I ain't studying you neither. Cause how he feel is how I feel. Y'all better stop going to all these churches pumping y'all up like y'all say. Like you're going to heaven. No, all, all week you serve the devil and then come on Sunday and want to go to heaven. It ain't happen like that. And let me help you, you can't pay your way in. Money won't get you into heaven. And you can't buy me cause I'm already preparing to go there. You can't pay me no money. I love the Lord too much. I'm already rich because I got the Holy Ghost. I'm already rich. I don't know what's in the bank, but up in heaven, my name is there. Is your name in heaven? I ain't talking about them on the church road book. I'm talking about do God know you? Church is full this morning. Everybody swore they, swearing they're going to heaven, but that ain't what the book said. I'm so glad I'm saved. I'm so glad that if I die right now, I ain't got to be making no reservation where I'm going to go. I already know. Do you know where you're going to spend the time at? Do you know if you die today, where you going? Do you know? It ain't for your mama to know. It ain't for your dad to know. Your money can't get you there. Only Jesus can. I feel pretty good. I really do. I know y'all trying to figure out what the robe stand for though. Let me just help y'all. He got me too, cause y'all know I'm normally wearing nothing like this. But he told me one thing, apostle. Everybody can't wear gold. It symbolized pure, purity. It's success. It's abundant. It's wealth. It's understanding. It's wisdom. It's compassion. It's positive. And it's a winner. Everybody can't win. Everybody can't win. Now, y'all want to be a sinner? You on the black side, baby. Go shine over darkness. But darkness mess you up, though. They said gold has long been associated with royalty throughout the world, along with purple. Yeah. Woo! I don't know how y'all feel, but God told me everybody can't wear gold. In some countries, you can't even wear it. And it don't symbolize well. It symbolizes your status. My status with God is like gold. I'm precious to him. Is you precious to God? Just tell the truth. Is you precious to God? Are you precious to your man? Are you precious to your children? Are you precious to your, your, your dad or somebody? Who are you precious to? God told me, Terry, you is precious to me. I said, God, don't do me like that. You, you, you kind of taking me too fast. Y'all just ride with me for a few minutes. In First Peter 2 and 4. Y'all ain't got that in with my scripture. I said, ride with me. I ain't tell you to get your Bible. See how fast y'all move? Ain't hearing nothing. I said, ride with me. I'm driving. He said in First Peter 2 and 4. It says, to, to whom coming as unto a lively stone. Disalive indeed a man. Still today. We think we know God, but he's disallowed in our life. 
We put everything else before him. We love everything else before him. It said, but to whom coming as unto a lively stone, disallowed indeed to man, but chosen of God and precious. God told me, Apostle Simon, you is precious to me. I said, no, don't tell me that, God. He said, well, just go on to read 1 Peter 2, 7 to 8. He said, unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious. But unto them which be disobedient, the stone with the bill of the disallowed, the same made the head of the corner. He still became the head. But the eighth verse get all y'all that's still going after your own self. He said, and a stone of stumbling, a rock of offense, even to them would stumble at the word being disobedient. But he said, Apostle Simon, don't you get caught with that. Don't get stuck with that. Y'all got a message for us today. I know y'all look like y'all ready. Is y'all ready? Don't fool me. St. John, the 14th chapter. I'll be reading you the first to the sixth, and then Isaiah 5 and 14. Y'all got to catch up. And it reads, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house, a many mansion. If it was not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whether I go it, ye know. The way you know, Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou go it. And how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come unto the Father but by me. Isaiah 5 and 14. Therefore hell has enlarged herself and opened up her mouth without measure. And their glory and their multitude and their pomp and he that rejoices shall descend into it. Oh, Heavenly Father and Jesus, we say right now, God, have your way. Do whatever you desire to do in this place, God, but have free course. God, your servant has anointed his eyes that I can see whatever the demonic spirit you desire for me to see. I anointed my ears that I can hear directly from heaven. But God, most of all, I anointed my mouth. That I will say nothing to myself, God, but all that you give me to say. God, but your servant has that you anoint your people here. That how they came in this place, they won't leave. God, we say right now, send your spirit in this place. To rest, to heal, to deliver, to set free. God, but you say if you be lifted up from the earth, you will draw all men. God, we come to lift up the name that is above every name. In the name of Jesus. Have your way in this place, God. And just have your way, God. And we forever give you the praise, we give you the thanks. In your son Jesus' name we pray. And every heart can say, amen, amen. And you can have a seat. So many people that go to church making plans. To go to heaven. How many of us making plans to go to heaven in here? Right. This morning. Y'all making plans, right? Y'all making plans. My message this morning. Heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. But hell is too. Are you prepared? For all y'all that's saying that y'all was making plans, but are you prepared? Have you really got your ducks in order and your life in order with what God say? Right. Or are we still making excuses for what we want to do when we want to do it? I looked at the word prepare means to make ready beforehand. That means you need to be prepared before you die. Right. Not when you get ready to die. So many people trying to wait till they get on their deathbed. 
after they done sold all their oak, they done had all their women, they done had all their girls, they done had all the cars, all the nice houses, they done drank all they want, smoked all they want, and then all of a sudden when they get on their deathbed, they want to say, God, come into my life. Right. But prepare me to make ready beforehand for something, a purpose, an activity, to make ready beforehand to work out details and plan in advance. You know how y'all get to look for the best insurance, the best premium. You look for the best car insurance, best life insurance, best house insurance, and your body ain't got no insurance. You ain't got Jesus, you ain't got no insurance. You try to get the best insurance for the, uh, or to bury you. What's good, uh, what's good to get buried with the best insurance, with the best suits on and all that, the best shoes on, and you finna go burn? Because them clothes ain't going with you. When you die, it's over. Are you prepared in advance to meet God? To make some or something ready? Are you ready if you die today? Come on. You ask yourself that. The Bible tells us, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. See, I'm persuaded. Can't no Muslim change my mind. My mama can't change my mind. My daddy can't change my mind. My children can't change my mind. You can't change my mind. If you want to go to hell and burn somewhere eternal, that's on you. Heaven is a prepared place. He said, I go to prepare a place for you, Terry. And where I am? Look, I ain't even have to die. All I do is accept it. He said, Terry, you are precious. And we still want to be around and play in darkness and black when God brung light. No matter how black they look, that God lighted up. That gold light up. All the one gold teeth, all the one gold, and you know, gold teeth, gold earring, you know, you go in the store, you, where everybody want gold? I don't want no 14, I want 22 carry. Yeah. And God says, Terry, you gold to me. You precious to me. You love what I did for you on the cross when, you, when I died for you. You love me when I said, Terry, you can have life. But I stepped before you and said, no, let Terry go free. I'm going to die. I got him. And God did it for you too, but you still want to do something else. You want to get somebody else to glory. You want to get everybody else to glory. You don't want to do what his word said. Because why? I love me. Ephesians 5, 29. You ain't got to go there. It said, no man has yet ever hated his own flesh. I might hate yours, Fred. But I like mine. That's what we do. We find er everything wrong with everybody, but we just as nasty, no good, and think we prepared to go to heaven. And bo but both places were prepared by God. Hell was too. Hell was prepared by God. The devil was prepared by God. He wasn't there at first, but he disobeyed you like you're doing. And you thought you could take over and have your own king. Yeah, that's what we think. We think we could do it one, two. But God told me, he said, Matthew 11 and 10. He said, but this is he in whom it is written. Behold, I will send my message before thy face, which shall prepare the way before thee. He said, I'm going to send a message before you. John the Baptist came. People ignored him. Isaiah came. People ignored him. Everybody come and preach to you. We ain't know them. Now, if I come in and start talking about prophets and houses and cars, church would be full. But who want to be gold? Who want to be precious to God? Who, who want to who wanna just be right with God? Or are we going to stay with black? Black, of course, is the darkest color in the Bible. It symbolizes negative judgment. Death, yes, darkness, yes. sin. Yeah. It symbolizes all that. But to be royal and priest to God, gold is associated with kings. And kingdom, God is precious. But I just want to do what I want to do for right now, Terry. I love this world. And I love the things in it. And God told us don't love the world, nor the things in the world. He said, don't be conformed to the world. And everything we're trying to do is trying to look like the world. No one want to be precious to God. But he said, Terry, you can wear gold. 
I said, Lord, I thank you. You know why he told me I could wear gold? In the vision of Psalm 119, 127, he said, therefore, I love your commandments. Above gold. Yes, above fine gold. I love, I love you, God. Do y'all love do y'all, do y'all love him? He come over here and start talking to, to the disciples. He said, now look, let not your heart be troubled. He was finna go away. He was trying to get them prepared. He said, you believe in God, believe also in me. Most people don't believe who Jesus is. We trying to make him anything that we want to. And y'all know what he is. He is the word of God. So you know the word of God is precious. So when you obey the word of God, you become precious. You become gold. You become royalty. But, but, but he told me, he said, prepare the people for where they're going to spend eternity at. If you die today, where would you spend eternity? Heaven is a prepared place, but hell is too. And hell is still in Lord himself. Hell is already a story. They didn't got the bill no more. He knew how many was coming. He knew how many too. But it was prepared for the whole world. But he knew everybody wasn't going to serve him because hell in Isaiah 5, 14 was for the devil and his angel. But it said, keep enlarging herself. It keep enlarging herself. It keep enlarging herself. For who? For all y'all that's just allowing the living stone to be in your life. He come back in Proverbs 17, 4, he said, wicked do give heed to false lip and lying, lying giving ears to a naughty tongue. He said, that's what we do. He said, we run to somebody that's going to tell us a lie. I heard Eli Hunt say, and I got it too, in two and four, he said, save yourself, Terry, from this untoward generation. Save, this, save yourself and all these people having a form of God, but denying the power of God. They going to church, but they ain't changing. Preachers, sisters. Preachers, cricket. Preachers, big and begging for money. Preachers ain't no good. They ain't even holy. And now you wonder why people want to go to church because the man that's supposed to be the light, the man that's supposed to be gold, the man supposed to be precious, the man supposed to be occupied and God instead, he crooked. And all we want to do, build money, bring your money. Ain't nobody telling you you can bring your money and still go to hell. They don't want to tell you that because they're scared you won't bring it. But I'm telling you, you must be born again. He come back in Proverbs 16 and 2. He said, all the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. You can't make nobody think he's dirty. But the day you die, and they roll your body up in him. We don't want to go to church, we want to be buried out of the church. I ain't understand that yet. Everybody talking about the church is cricket. But then you don't go to church, but you want to be, have your funeral in church. Or your family, somebody. He said, all the ways of a man are clean in his own eye. But the Lord weighs the spirit. You must be born again. But he come back and tell you, heaven is a prepared place. But hell is too. Are you prepared? Are you making reservation? To go there, or you just make a reservation to be the church on Sunday. If it happened right now, we don't sung, we don't wave our hand, we don't did all that. It said to make ready beforehand, cause you don't know when you're gonna die. If we, if we knew that, we'll get saved today. If I knew I was gonna walk out that door and die, I'm coming up here and giving my life to God today. But you don't know. He kept that secret from you. He gave you a birthday. Let me just talk about me. April the 13th, 1958. I don't know when I'm going to die, but there's going to be a blank in between. What your blank going to say? What your blank going to say? You don't say nothing on the cast. You don't say nothing on that stone. But in between that blank, it better have born again. Because if you ain't born again, you going to hell. And I didn't say go to church again. You know, we think because we going to church and I'm in this big church. Oh, man, we got a big old church, nice, quiet. Oh, the preacher just can hoop. Oh, he can do all that. The keyboard player, all that is good. What he preach? Oh, uh, uh. I mean, you know the choir, though, the choir. You know what I'm talking about. No, I said what he preach. He said, let 
and not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. And you can't stop people saying they believe. And then when you start talking about the word with church people, they start saying, you can't judge me. I'm saying, I judge you. Babe, I'm a fruit inspector. When I make my salad, I do not get rotten tomatoes. I look at tomato. What y'all do when y'all get good? At... Mm -mm. Cucumber. You judging it. You don't want nothing rotten. So when you tell me you're a believer, you shouldn't worry about me judging. You should have the right fruit. You can't tell me you are a, a, a pecan and you got watermelon hanging on your tree. That's a sign of, you know, y'all don't know nothing about that, but that's retarded. Y'all got them, y'all got them educated words. Developmental delay, you still slow. You, 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 you retarded, slow, riding a shout yellow bus, and slobbing. And some of us sitting right in here in church, we slow just like that because we think God going to give in uh, for you being slow. But more people in bunk don't get a, a, a real diploma. So when y'all get ready to get to heaven, because y'all act like y'all was in bunk, he know you. He going to give you a, a certificate and tell you don't unpack. Heaven will prepare for you. It had room for you. And some of us think if we live a long time, Hell and going to get full. It's enlarge yourself every day. But when you don't read the Bible, you don't know that. He come back and said in Proverbs 16 and 25, he said, there's a way that seemed right unto man. See, we start trying to find someone that's going to tell us what's right. Well, you know, your past, your present, and your future sins have been paid for. When Jesus died, he died for all sin. So you know what, y'all? I just license you to sin. Because in my past, my present, and my future sin, well, what I got to stop sinning for? You stop sinning because you prepare and make a preparation beforehand. And what you, what you mean, Pastor Simmons? Romans 6 and 1 says, should we continue in sin that grace abound? It said, God forbid. Not me. God forbid. So if you still in sin, you're on your way to hell. Let them, let them preach a fool, y'all. You all right? But I know some of y'all is just like this. He said, there's a way that seems right unto man, but the end that of, uh, uh, of the way is death. Ain't that some? This is what it said in Proverbs 27 and 20. See, most times you go to church, you don't hear them in the scripture. They say, they say, they read 15 and say, I'm going to tag one. I'm tagging everything to show you where you're going. I'm, I'm tagging everyone. I'm trying to put hell in your lap. If that's where you want to go, I want you to know one thing. When you get there, it's going to be hot, eternal, low, and lonely. And all your friends that didn't get saved, one making preparation, one doing beforehand, they're going to be in hell with you. Michael Jackson, hee hee, Wendy Houston, wee hee, and Pepper Rain. Y'all looking for him? You gonna still be able to hit purple rain. You burn it, he burn it. Ain't that so? Cause you ain't no better than him. Here God don't send his son, only begotten son to die for you, and then you still want to go out to something else? This is what God said. He said, in my father's house, a many mansions. And here people talking about, man, I got a mansion in heaven. He ain't never say you're gonna get a mansion. He said in the father house of many mansions. See how we read the scripture wrong? What you gonna do with a mansion when you can't even keep a two bedroom with a one bath clean? What you gonna do with a mansion? Man, I need a mansion. Well, let me tell you what Proverbs 27 said. It, 27 and 20 said, hell and destruction are never full. So the eyes of a man is never satisfied. Y'all know how that go. I bought a Camaro. 2013 Camaro was just as proud of myself. Rolled off the lot. You know what? The, the, oh, I rolled off the lot. I'm just styling. I see one. I see another. I see another. I go around the corner. I see one. I said, man, I should have kept that Malibu. <laughs> That's the way we are, because that's what we are. Y'all know how we are. Say, more if I get, if I get a, the right job, I'll pay tithe. You do what? God give you $10, he can't get a dollar. You know good well if you get 100000 
Y'all ain't figured that fast, did it? But he said, if you don't pay tithe, you're going to get cursed with a curse. And here we are talking about, I love God. I love God. You don't know, Apostle Sim. You said, well, is you paying tithe? No, I don't pay tithe, man. I don't get that preaching my money. Let me tell you about this. Proverbs 16 and 5 said, everyone that is proud in his heart is abomination to the Lord. If you, you got it your way, you're abomination to God. But he said, I go to prepare a place for you. And where I am? You could be also. Here Thomas and walk with him. Don't even know who he is. Lord, how are we going to know the way? How many of y'all know the way to get to heaven? Jesus. Yes. God, I don't know that I gave a hand when I'm sorry. So some of y'all, let me preach to y'all. Let me, let me help y'all. That's why God sent that message. If God seen far off, guess who moved? If God don't seem close to you when you first get saved, y'all know how when we first get saved, we love the Lord. We talk to everybody about him. And then when this flesh starts <laughs> having his appetite and desire, it's hard to get us close. The, the, uh, you know, this, is this the same church that was saying? Yeah. This, this the same church came off an altar prayer? This the same church now? So you ain't sure, y'all ain't sure if y'all going to heaven or hell. Y'all ain't sure, y'all ain't sure. No, y'all ain't sure. Let me preach. He said, to make ready beforehand, for some purpose, to work out the details, plan in advance, to make someone or something ready. Now, if y'all were ready and this message going through, y'all ought to be jumping, saying, oh, woo, woo, Lord, I'm on my way to heaven. But seem like hell sliding up in your body. That's where we at. I understand y'all. I understand y'all. Y'all know y'all on y'all way to hell slow. Because you ain't gave God all of you. Going to church ain't going to keep you from going to hell. You got to present your body. You got to become the church. We got so many people in church that has not became the church. They go to church, but they ain't the church. And don't nobody want to preach holy no more. Don't nobody want to tell you to be holy. He said, holy and without no man shall see the Lord. He ain't said Baptist. He ain't said Matthew. He ain't said Catholic. He ain't said none of that. He said holiness. Yes. And there ain't no dress. Because I know people that want to dress down there and got to pray. And the one by the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost ain't did nothing. Y'all don't want to sit in there, but that's all right. I was born by myself. I ain't had no twin. I ain't, I ain't had no twin. And I'm used to looking at people that go into hell looking crazy. That's what, that what God come to do. That's why people don't come in here. Because you tell the truth, people know where they're at. If I told your breath, stay, what you going to do? You think, is, is you think I'm telling the truth? Or you going to say what you gonna do? Huh? Y'all looking, y'all looking serious too. I'm trying to get y'all to ride with me. I'm just saying, if your breath stinks, and I told your breath stinks, what you gonna tell me? Your breath don't stink. A little child can come tell you break they talk. <laughs> child, you just, <laughs> you're just so crazy. Why you ain't sound crazy? Cause I can't stand stinking stuff. So your breath stinking to me, I, I might throw up. Because this is a strong breath. What? I'm just trying to, I'm trying to help y'all. I'm trying to help y'all. I'm trying to help y'all. But when somebody tell you the truth, it'd be offense to you even though they tell you the truth. You know, like if you try to wear something, I say, man, look, baby, you ain't built for that. You know, I know you want to be with everything, but it's too many roles. You know, the dress, the dress, nice. It just ain't for you. And the church ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Boy, look at here. See what I'm saying? When you be real, don't nobody want the truth. You see what I'm saying? If, if somebody tell my mother, I'm saying, that's, hey, that's how you feel. You can't get Trina to say that, boy. Hear the Trina. What you said, girl, don't make me stop preaching. <laughs> look at here. He said, heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. Heaven is prepared. For prepared people, the one that go the way, the one that know it's true, and he is their life. 
But if you ain't got, if you ain't going his way, he just like I can either David. It's one way. And you know anywhere you go on the one way, if you ride the wrong way and the police see you, you're gonna get a what? Okay, when you go the wrong way with God. He said, prepare the people for where they're going to spend eternity. Jesus said, I am the way, the, the truth, and the life. No man coming to my daddy but by me. And everybody trying to change this book. They trying to, the Bible, they trying to get a new translation. Because they want to take hell out the Bible and sell a place. He said, a virgin had a child. They said a little girl. Now, the way these little girls are right now, put virgin there. So I know they're pure. So you see a little girl, some of them having sex like grown women. And they doing some stuff in school. Them young children. Boy, if I was in school right now, I know I'd be put out. See, y'all don't want to be real. I'd be put out. I couldn't go to class. Now that wild these children is. See, they weren't doing that when we were coming up. If you got a hug, shoot, you run and told everybody, man, man, she hugged me, man. Shoot, now these jokes are putting out guard telling you, look, man, in classroom. Right there where everybody was there. What she do? Man, you know. What? Eight years old. Don't y'all act like y'all don't know what I'm talking about? All y'all trying to look like. Like, what are you talking about? What did they do? Told y'all, y'all try to be in bump. I'm coming on, I'm coming on. Are you going to heaven? Are you prepared? Are you ready? Huh? Are you, are you going? That's what God want to know. Listen to how God said it. He said in, 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 in Psalm, the vision of Psalm 11 and 6, he said, upon the wicked, he shall rain, snare, fire, and brimstone, and a an harbor temple. This is the portion. This shall be the portion of their cup. That's all they're going to get. That's all they're going to get. And see, that's our problem. Well, who going to heaven, then, Pastor Simon? Who? Do you have the qualification to go? All right. Let me ask that question. Heaven is a prayer place for prepared people, but hell is too. Now, I'm asking, who got, do you have the qualification to go to heaven? No. Let me see your hand. No. Let me see your hand. Yeah. Put your hands up. Okay, put your hands up. Now, let me read the qualification. In the vision of Psalm 15, he said, Lord, this David, who shall abide in our tabernacle? Who shall dwell in our holy hill? He that walketh upright. Upright. Check yourself. All y'all raise your hand. Check yourself. We're going through the, the pros and cons, the qualifications. He said, he that walketh uprightly. He that worketh righteousness. He that speak the truth. In his heart. He that backed by the knot with his tongue, not do evil to his neighbor. And you know your neighbor ain't just a little nigga go to you. Your neighbor, your co worker. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know. The church looking kind of crazy. I don't know if any of y'all going to heaven. I'm serious. I'm the only one going where I go. I'm precious, y'all. I'm precious. Because he said, he said, look what he said. He said, but this is he whom is, is written. Behold, I send my message before thy face, which shall prepare the way before thee. I'm trying to make sure you're going. I'm trying to get you ready beforehand. I'm trying to make sure you ain't in sin, doing something that you shouldn't be doing. And we're going to come into church. Y'all know what we're going to do? We're going to leave out the church and still do what we want to. We might not hug nobody. You're going to hell. I'm telling y'all, you cannot do what the words, don't do what the words say and think you're going to make it in. Pastor Simon, how you know that? Because he told you, he said, and the stone, the ladder stone, the stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them, even to them, will stumble at the word, being disobedient. Stumble at the word. Y'all, 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 y'all there? Let me come on down here. He come back and David talks again in the beginning of Psalm 20, 24. He said, the earth is the Lord in the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwells in it. Everybody dwelling in the world is still here. Huh? Here. 
He said in, in Ezekiel 18 and 4, he said, the soul that sinned, it, it shall die. The soul of the Father, the soul of the Son, it's mine. Whether you save or not, you still heal. You can't get away. Just because you ain't going to church, just because you saying you ain't ready to be saved, hell's still going to get you. It's going to get y'all who you don't heard the word. You don't heard truth from him. And that's what he said. And then we quick to say this, the Lord is my shepherd. You ain't following nowhere. David used that because he was a, a, a shepherd himself, and he know the sheep follow the shepherd. So David said, the Lord is my shepherd. Well, who, who your shepherd? Who you follow? So y'all passed the first test. Y'all did all the first pros and cons. Well, let's keep going then. He said, for he has found it in a, upon the sea and established upon the floor. Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? David, why are you asking that again? These God people. God said, if you love me. Why God asking his people, do you love me? He said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. All y'all were making preparation beforehand and getting ready to go to heaven. You keeping God's commandments. I ain't talking about one. I ain't talking about two. I ain't talking about y'all married. I ain't talking about, I ain't having sex. I ain't having, I ain't fornicating. It's more than fornicating in the book. I'm talking y'all mad people. You know, y'all can say y'all ain't fun, okay? Helena can say, oh, I don't want no husband because she said me. That's all right. Mm-hmm. Let me get back over here. He said, who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? Who shall stand in the holy hill? He that had clean hands. All y'all, forehand, your hand clean. You know, hand go at the mouth too. You ain't lied on nobody. You ain't, you ain't been kind of crafty. My wife said shady. I asked her what that was. What, what is shady? She said, but you know. I had to come on down there kind of crafty. Crooked. Backstab. Backbiter. Lip biter. No good. I did, I, you got to come on with me. You got to tell me something because I, I get slow with them, them names like Shady. He said, he that has clean hands, uh-oh, a pure heart. To make ready beforehand for some purpose. So all y'all that say y'all prepared got a pure heart. That didn't go with the hand that went up. He said, a pure heart. He said, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity. Nor he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and the righteousness of God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him. How many are seeking God? We ain't talking about church now. We talking about when God coming for the TV. When God be coming for your cell phone. When God be coming for your man. When your husband can't make you not study. Your wife can't make you not study. I'm talking about, you know, you want to get your groove on, you know, the flesh. You know, you don't deny this. A kiss turn into uh, spending the night. Or leave before three. That's been the night. They said, but he ain't stay all night. If he left at three, one, I just put it like this. If the job was done, he could have left at 730. Because y'all know we'll get some children and some cooking. They said, me and Uncle Ben need to talk. Uncle Ben, Uncle Curtis, Auntie Susan. We just got dog, daddy, we just got a big old family. God is trying to tell us something. God got a qualification. The church has watered this thing down. The Bible hadn't changed. The Bible hadn't changed. He said, Michael, he said, look, he tell you what the qualification he want. He said, I don't told him, I just want them to walk justly with me. That's all he said. Show mercy. The Bible ain't changed to love your neighbor as you love yourself. 
Are you prepared? If you die, and some of y'all waiting to lay it on, because y'all said, Pastor, I ain't ready yet. But I'm going to do it before I die. You leave here and get in a wreck and get in a coma. Where you go then? Well, God going to have mercy. He can't do that. He's equal. He can't tell me to live right and to be right and to keep his commandment, and then you're going to slide in because you got, got a coma? He better send you to hell because me and him going to talk. He better send you straight to hell just like he'll send me a bar room. I ain't have no, uh, he can send my whole family to hell. My whole family go to hell. I wouldn't care. They got the same chance I got to be right. They got the same chance I got. They hear the word, know what God wants. They want to go to hell. See you. I ain't going. That thing, it's hot down now. This is what he said in Deuteronomy 10 and, 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 and 12. He said, and now Israel, what do the Lord, thou God, require thee? He said, but to fear God. See, when you fear him, you become an knowledge and understanding and wisdom. He said, but in all you're getting, get an understanding. God tell us to present our body a living sacrifice, and we trying to get him the top and keep the bottom. He ain't said part of you. He said present your body. That means from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. You can't keep the bottom. Amen. How are you going to order your step? All right. If you got the bottom. All right. That's why you keep going the wrong place. You trying to keep some. And then you don't want your, your man to keep nothing. You jealous if he talked to somebody, but God tell you he, I'm jealous. He tell you my name jealous. And you spend the time with Satan, but not with me. You spend the time with wickedness. You on the phone talk about everybody in the church. So in discord. Huh? Shoot, man, please. He said, but to fear the Lord, thou God, to walk in all his ways. All y'all prepared. You walking in all his way? We need to do some repenting. Put your hand up and talk about. Man, what y'all talking about? This is what he said. He said to walk in all his way and to love him. All right. Man, my wife don't want me to come to church. My husband didn't even want me to stay last night. I, I said, look here, Satan. Get behind me. Get behind me. Now, if you want to avoid me because I'm studying, and then get away. And you know they start a uh, uh, proposition, too. You trying to fad, they know you're a fad, they want to do something. The Bible says that's the time that you both should be able to... Well, you know, they're my body. I thought God had it. He said to walk in all the way and to love him and to serve the Lord thou God with all thy heart, with all thy soul. That's how that he want all of you. Yeah. Yeah. Which one of him want a part-time love? Raise your hand if you wouldn't mind your man or your husband or your boo. Just every now and then, you know, just raise your hand. Well, why y'all cheat on God? He told you my name is Jealous. And Jealous, y'all got it from him? Why y'all cheat on him? Ain't nobody gonna die for you, but for you and I sure ain't gonna die for you. If you ain't no mean to die, you messed up. For y'all? No, sir. God sent them on the hell. Let them, let them go on by their business. Don't, don't put me with them. I'm so glad they ain't a group deal. So I know if I was with some of y'all, boy, look at here, boy, I'm finna burn. I think I'll kill y'all myself. I don't care about y'all getting that on the video. I'll kill him myself. He said to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes. He didn't just say his commandments. He said his statutes too. Y'all see what I'm talking about? This thing we got to make ready. You got to get somewhere where somebody's going to teach you that you got to live by the Bible. You can't live by what you think. He said your way ain't no good. He said I'm the way. He said but I, go to, I went to prepare, my father prepare to pray for you. Then that what he said? Y'all yeah. read that in the book, didn't it? Yeah. And he also said 514, it's another play prepared. It called A, A Bubble Star A. It just spelled H E. 
It ain't all. He said, to keep the commandment of the Lord and his statute, which I command thee this day for thy good. Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heaven is the Lord, thou God. The earth also with all that Man, y'all better look at that thing, man. He's trying to tell us something, but we ignoring him, and that's what God said. He said, Terry, they don't understand. They still want to listen to them preachers on TV and, 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 and tell them they need a press chalk and they need this. God said, I rent the veil from top to bottom, and here you're going to go buy a Jewish prayer cloth when you, I told you you can come to me by yourself, and you're going to spend... Six or something dollars on a prayer cloth, and now they got a prayer necklace. They didn't even have that in Jerusalem. And we buy the prayer cloth and the prayer, the, the, the prayer necklace, and then we don't even pray. We just took that in the church without Bible. What that is, man, prayer cloth, man. <laughs> Nigga ain't prayed since he been in the church. Can't get a prayer, too. Mm-hmm. I know what y'all say. I'm with y'all. This is what he said in First Peter. I'm going to let y'all go. He said in First Peter 1 and 13, he said, Wherefore, girl of the lawns of your mind, be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be bought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children. How you gonna be an obedient children if you ain't gonna do what the Bible says? Right. How you gonna obey? What you gonna obey? You know what you're gonna obey. You gonna take out what you like. God said he'll open the windows of heaven for me. That's, you know that scripture. But you ain't know it go over time. All right, all right. You just quote it. The Lord, the Lord told me he's gonna open the windows of heaven. The Lord loved them that is here. You just quote. We quote, we, I'm telling you, we're good at that. But then what they will say. He said, as obedient children, not fashion yourself according to the former lusts of your ignorance. The thing you were doing in ignorance, now you got your eyes open. And now you're still doing it. <laughs> and that's so, uh, you were ignorant. He said, I'm not winking at that no more. What I know you know, I know all of this comes so I know we going. All of that disobedience, we're going to hell. Yeah. From the younger to the old. From Jalen all the way up to Chris. He the older. No. Nope. Yeah, I'm going to put Chris the older. Out the young. He said, a farmer, a fast, not fashion yourself according to the former lust of your evening. He said, but as he which has called you is holy. Everybody trying to tell me, man, I ain't finna wear no this and that, that's not, that's not wearing nothing. That's a lifestyle. I'm holy. That's why he's telling me I'm precious. I can wear gold. Now don't y'all go try to buy no gold now and come to church. Because I'm going to tell you, go home and change. You ain't precious. This is like, this is, this is cold stone. How many of y'all going to heaven now? Thank you, Thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, Ella. One thing about this ministry. <laughs> we, we lie. Well, let me just read this Amos to y'all. Are you prepared to meet God? God was talking to them. Amos talking to them. And God was started telling them. And he, the first time he said... He told them to return to God, you know, to God. He said, yet have not returned unto me, said the Lord. He come back again, he tell them, return ye back to the Lord. They didn't return back to the Lord. The same way I'm doing y'all. He stood with preaching to them, telling them, God needs you to return. Amos crying out. They still won't return. He said, again, return to the Lord. They won't return. He said, yet return unto me, said the Lord. They won't return. So the 12th verse in Amos 4 and 12 said, Therefore thus will I do unto thee, O Israel, 
And because I will do this unto thee, prepare to meet thy God. He said, now since you will return, prepare. See, he said, I try to get you to be ready beforehand, but you kept doing what you want to. So now, prepare. So if you ain't ready, just think if you die right now. And even though you've been raised with your hand, knowing you ain't prepared, <laughs> just lie. Do you know all lie you go to hell? I could be in the church. They can ask me, is you prepared? If I wasn't prepared, no, sir. My hand ain't going up. That's why I be telling people I take a communion. Taking communion because everybody get, get in our communion. They can pass that by me. I ain't finna do it. This is what he said in Proverbs 6. Proverbs 6 and 16. He said, there are six things do the Lord hate, yet seven is abomination unto him. Prepare to make ready beforehand some purpose, activity, to work out the details of a plan in advance, to make someone or something ready. Save yourself from this nasty world. And here God trying to tell you, he said, look, there are six things do the Lord hate, Y'all hear the word he used? Hate. But no man yet has yet hated his own flesh. But he nourishes it and cherishes it as Christ the church. He nourishes it. He feeds it what he wants. If he wants sex, he gives sex. If he wants dope, he gives dope. If he want, if he want to drink a beer, he drink beer. If he want to smoke a cigarette, he smokes a cigarette. You give your flesh. You want to cuss somebody, you give your flesh. You nourish it. And you cherish it because it's dear to you. Not God, your flesh. This is what he said to you. He said, he said, and seven is abomination unto him, a proud look. He said proud. A proud look. A lying tongue. Hand that shed innocent blood. A heart that divides wicked imagination. Feet always running to some. You the first one get there. Every time trouble come, you the first one run. You get there. Child, what, 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 what? You get the man. You take it all over the tree. I'm talking about quick. Y'all don't know nothing about Speedy Guns Alley. All of the old people know about Speedy Guns Alley. See, they don't make cartoons like that no more. Speedy Gun Alley was so fast, man. I used to want to race it. I ain't bothered right now, though. He, he, he said, the feet that be swift running to mischieving, a false witness that speak a lie. Now, I thought that was funny how he said a lying tongue and then a false witness. They different. Raise your hand if you'll fall with me. Y'all ain't be a fan here, man. I know some of y'all going to hell. I'm just going to tell y'all. Y'all, what y'all? Y'all, all lies are going way past. Pastor, it's just a little lie. He said all lies. It's pink. It's white. We'll make all kind of color. Heaven. It's a prepared place for a prepared people. But hell is too. Amen. Are you prepared? Are you making preparation beforehand to make it to see where God is? He said, there's six things do the Lord hate. I want y'all to get that in your spirit. Yeah. There's six things the Lord hate. Yet the seven is an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hand that shed an innocent blood, a heart that divides wicked imagination, feet that be swift to run to mischief, a false witness that speak a lie, and then the, the seven is abomination. You know, we always say, oh, man, sis is abomination to God. See, we won't, we won't, we won't use this. Man, sis is abomination to God. What, what this say? He that sow discord among the brethren, 
He that sow a discord among the brethren. The seven are abomination unto him. That's the seven. He that sow a discord among the brethren. That's abomination. Yeah. God help me. My son, keep thy father's commandment and forsake not the law of thy mother. Bind them continually upon thy heart. He says, take this word and put it upon your heart. It's precious. It's gold. Y'all know we had gold. We wouldn't let nothing separate us from that gold. And, and that's all. And then he said, gold must go through the fire. The burn off to become the gold. Yeah. Jeremiah said the word is like fire. So the word would burn all that. That's how I became precious. That's how I became gold. Because the word, it burns off all that stuff. I wouldn't go nowhere where they ain't going to preach and burn this, all, all this stuff on me. Because the flesh always want what it wants. I need somebody to preach hell about me, scare hell about me, do whatever you want to. Just get hell about me. Let me be precious to God. Let him say, my good and faithful servant. I don't want to wait till I get to heaven and then he tell me to depart. I want God to say I'm precious now. Is you precious? This is what he said about Jesus. He said, First Peter 2 and 4, to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed a man. I don't care how much man disallow me, feel about me. He said, but chosen of God. I was chosen by God. I didn't go to be a preacher because I wanted. I ain't go to preach for money. Right. I tell him any time, you want me to come and do a revival and you want somebody to tell the truth, you ain't got to pay me. I'll do it for free. Ain't no use getting nobody from Chicago, flower way down here. And then you got to get him silk sheet. You got to get him a, 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 a certain kind of water bottle. You know, all that like that. You ain't got to do that. Buy me a hamburger if you want to and, and let me pre. Give me a, give me a, give me a, You know, I eat waffles. I eat McDonald's. You know, I ain't present. Checker. I, you know, I, I blue brown bag. I don't care. All I want to do is please God. You, you, I tell them all the time, you ain't got to pay me. I'm going to get paid. You can't do that with a lot of preachers, though. He said, my son, keep my, my, he said, keep thy father commandment and forsake not the law of thy mother. He said, bind them about continuing upon thy heart and, and tie them about thy neck. He said, don't leave home without this. Don't he leave home without the word. We leave home without the word. We get up and get on the phone. We get up and brush our teeth, put our makeup right. So you know to look right for somebody. And here the one died for you that you supposed to be making preparation to spend eternity with. You ain't said nothing to him. My God. Yeah. My God. Yeah. Y'all got Jesus in y'all phone? All right, I ain't talking about the Bible. Y'all just got the amp. You just want to tell somebody, I got the Bible. That's why most churches now, they don't, they don't even, they, don't, they, they book so about to close down. They ain't buying Bible no more. They want to take out their phone, their tablet, even the preacher. Wife out to go out. What you going to do then? Huh? You going to roll all them notes down? That's why they stop putting silly fans over the, the pool pit. They're blowing them notes away. <laughs> They, 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 they wrote down some out of mess. We just went to the church this morning. She had a book report. I said, dog, I'm going to flunk her. She ain't put her commas in the right place, her period. She lying on the scripture, talking about all this. I ain't going to go there. I'm talking about us. Are you prepared to meet God? Are you prepared? I ain't talking about, it ain't about going to church. You are the church. He ain't coming back for the steeple. He coming back for people. He coming back for somebody that said, God, I want to live for you. God, I ain't did everything right, but I'm repenting. Today, I want to prepare myself. I want to make ready beforehand, and I'm not going to let nothing stop me. In other words, this means war. You can't have my family. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, me and we need to stand up. We need to stand up and say, the devil ain't give my family. God gave me a right to be the priest, and I'm going to be the priest. I'm going to leave my house. You know what's wrong with the world? When I was in the world, all the men want to tell me, oh, I wear the pairs in my house. I tell them, now your wife do too. 
You know what I'm talking about? Men. We need to stand up and lead our family to God. Uh, if, I, if, I, if I had a daughter, and she bring a joker home, and I got to check and see if he's saved. If he ain't saved, she can get mad if she want to. I'm saying, look at him, baby. Bro, I ain't right. Well, she won't listen to parents no more. Let me just help y'all. I you bring them girls by my mama, huh? My mama said, Terry. She ain't no good. I'm like, man, she don't know what she talking about. Going on with my little bad self. Mm. Hey, mom. That girl you were talking about, she ain't right. I could have missed that one. Yeah. Don't y'all know God? All the people don't bend down on, they see more than you see. Even though you think they ain't gonna change now. They were doing what y'all were, they were doing back there what y'all were doing now. Y'all just crazy. I'm serious. It was sister back then, they just stayed in the closet. Now y'all don't let them come out because most of y'all want to go both ways. Y'all look got a little like that. One of my sons go like that, look. Don't bring that little nasty joker to the house, and you better be acting like you a man when you come to the house, because we ain't, we ain't, we ain't passing all the spirit around now. If you don't got on me, I'm start looking. I start looking, leaning in the mirror. Them spirits will get on you, huh? No, no, bro, you, no. You ain't sitting on my commode and put, put that spirit down there and have me all, got me start looking at Trina dressing. No, mm -mm, no. Yeah, see, y'all don't believe that, man. Them things them thing got to get on some. They do. See, I believe the Bible. Them things will transfer on some. Okay, let me just explain to y'all. I know most Muslims don't eat pork. Right? right. Uh, most of us don't try to eat pork. Now, I'm going to help y'all. When they cast them demons out the legion, out of the pig, they cast him out, the man with the legion. And the demon said, don't cast us out in the world. Don't cast us, don't, don't send us to nowhere right. Cast us into the swine. That's why they said don't eat pig. So the next time mom tell you they don't eat pig, tell them the, 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 the pig ran into the water. Right? So the pig died. Where them spirit went? Your swimp and your, your grouper. <laughs> I know y'all, see y'all, y'all don't want to hear what I'm saying, to make ready beforehand. The fear had to go somewhere, and I, I love swim now, but I be looking at them. I be seeing anything on people out there. Y'all, y'all playing, I'm, I'm telling y'all now. See, y'all don't want to listen to the man of God. If they went into the hole, and all the hole ran into the water and died, the spirit ain't die, they can't die by no water. Where they went? Oh, I like group. <laughs> Sheephead. I don't, even, I don't even know. Some of them, I don't know. I just like fish. I like any, any I ain't eating oysters and all that slime and stuff, but I, fish, they just gonna have to be in there then. <laughs> See, y'all got me away from a mess. Look, heaven is a repaired place. Well, prepared people. But hell is also prepared. We don't even have to go there. Amen. When Jesus said, Father, it is finished, he gave all of us the opportunity to become precious gold to him. The word, he want to take you through the fire, bring you out pure, and what you used to look like, you don't look like that no more. Because now you press it to him. And when anybody see you, everybody see you, they say it's something different. Preachers see me, they automatically change. They might change their mess. Because I look at them like they're crazy. Here you got all these men's uh, praise dancers. Switching. 
more than my wife switch. I tell you what, you can come here switch. I ain't mad with you. You can come here with your boots on, sagging, and, and, and got a hair cut like a boy. I ain't mad. But I'm going to show preach hell about you. And if you want to uh, go tell her, uh, sit on me, tell them to come in here too. I got a message for them too. They quick as hell. Getting all my money off, off the water and ain't gave her that extra money back yet. <laughs> Taking up all that money and then they, 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 they don't want to give it back to you. But this is what he told me before I close. He said in Isaiah 62, he gave us preachers on assignment. And that's why Jesus said, I was anointed to do this. I'm anointed to do this. He said, 62, and this is what our ministry stand on. And I believe we are capable of being this. But we got to make preparation beforehand. We got to get prepared in advance. Because we never know when we're going to die. But he told in Isaiah 62 and 10, he said, go through. Go through the gate. Prepare the way of the people. He said, get your people ready beforehand. Don't tell them no story. Don't tell them about Shadrach, Meshach, all of them in heaven. Don't tell them about Daniel and the lion den. I ain't saying you can't use that, but don't use that just to tell them that. Tell them to prepare to meet their God. You can't go to heaven. Shadrach and Meshach, do y'all know what they did? They died for God. They, they, want, they, they, want, they, they believe who God was. And now people tell me all the time, I'm like Job. You like who? Job feared God. He said, go through, go through the gate. He said, prepare ye the way of the people. He said, cast up, cast up the highway. Gather out the stone. He said, lift up a standard for the people. He said, behold, the Lord has proclaimed unto the end of the world, say ye to the daughters of Zion. He said, behold, he said, look, thou salvation is coming. He said, behold, his reward is with him, and his work is before him. And they shall call them the holy people. I wouldn't care if I was Baptist, Catholic, Methodist, anything, I'd rather for somebody to call me holy. Because he told me, holding without no man shall see the Lord. I don't care what they are. You can be whatever you want to be, but you must be holy. He said, they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. Thou shall be called the sought out, a city, not forsaken. God, I love you. Because before I even love myself, you love me. And you told me, God, you got my back. God said, but tear, I brought them out of darkness. And they choose to want to go back in darkness. He said, but in 2 Peter 2 and 20, he said, for if after they have escaped the pollution of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein and overcome the latter end is worse than them than the beginning for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it they turned from the holy commandment delivered unto them he said but it is happen, happening unto them according to the true proverb the dog is turned to his own vomit again and the sorts that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. Say like a dog returning to his vomit. I said, God, I'm a prayer and make ready beforehand. I don't want you to, to come back and like my dad used to say, Catch me with my draw down, or my pan down. Catch me not prepared. I heard the word, I didn't do what you said, and now here you is. I said, God, don't do it, don't do it. I don't wanna do it. I must do as your words say. 
Your ways ain't no good to God. Your thoughts ain't no good to God. If it ain't by the Bible, it's no good. We can make all the excuses and everything they want to do. I'm telling y'all, don't let nobody fool you. You all right sinning. Don't think that. Don't think because every, every funeral you go to, they put them in heaven. Don't, they lying. Them preachers going to go to hell for lying. I got a sister and brother. I did both of them funerals. Family still mad with me today. I'm not finna put them in heaven. I know what the life they live. It ain't my choice, but I ain't gonna sit there and say they went to heaven and I knew. They said, man, you'll put your, your uh, sister and brother in hell? No, they put themselves there. They chose not to do what God said. I ain't finna lie and then I'm going to hell because I lied for them. No, they should have got right. Same thing with you. He's telling you today, prepare to make ready beforehand for some purpose. But Proverbs 17 and 4 tell us a wicked doer give heed to fault live. Somebody got wicked and loved darkness, they'll take heed to a liar. I ain't trying to get nothing from you. You ain't got the payment for this, it's free. Don't nobody owe me nothing but God. You ain't even got to get an offering. If you're busy, you ain't got to get an offering. We ain't not for money. We trying to get people to know one thing. You better have your soul and spirit right before you leave him. You know, people start trying to not preach because you got a lot of visitors scared they ain't going to bring no money. If, if your money mean that much to you, that's all right. I'm trying to get your spirit. I'm trying to get you right with God. It's too many people in church that going to hell. And the judgment is going to begin now. It's going to start at the church. We think we're escaping because we're going to church. It's coming in the church. What, what God going to start at the liquor store for? What are you going to start at the crack house for? He coming right here where he's supposed to be able to pick some good flowers, some sweet smelling stuff, not some little stinking stuff. It's bad us in the church. He got to come and smell you. You smell like a sissy. You smell like a dyke. You smell like fornication. You smell like a duster. You smell like a liar. All that in the house of God. He said, but you are a raw priesthood, a chosen generation, a curious people. He said he got people that he knows. Would one of y'all want to be there? Would one of y'all want to be where and go and let God say, you precious to me? You precious to me. You precious to me. You know, he just, you know, you, when you start hearing the word, you say, man, that's me. I'm precious. Whether I'm precious to Katrina or not, I'm precious to God. I'm something special to God. I, I, I know people say, man, you, you be too hard on people. You preach too much fire and brimstone. Well, I'd rather, I'd rather have fire and brimstone preach to me now than to go to hell where it's at. Get up out of me now. He said, gold has long been associated with royalty throughout the world along with purple. Positive key word that gold carry success, abundant wealth, understanding, wisdom, compassion, love, passion, positive, and I'm a one. I got the V. I'm on my way to heaven.